Afternoon, everyone. This is Josh with Black Horse Designs. So, uh, I'm going to be posting this router table for sale here. This is kind of the prototype unit that I've been uh, working on. Uh, just getting everything working together and all the parts proven. Uh, it, it is a 6 by 12 foot. So you can do pretty much about 6, uh, not quite 6 feet, maybe 5 foot 10 inches wide by about 10 feet 3 inches long. Um, but it's a full uh, 6 by 12 table. It's all 80-20. Uh, aluminum extrusion and this is actually the three by six so this is the largest extrusion they make extremely heavy duty the cross members are uh, inch and a half by four and a half so they're quite a bit heavier duty than a lot of the uh, ones out there uh, this one has a double layer spoil board on it so what's nice about it is you can actually run a forklift up to it and set your slab down and pull your forks out without having a monkey around pulling it off by hand. Um, it's got uh, used 25 millimeter rails. I bought these from a, a guy out in Wisconsin. There's a few little spots on them, but it runs extremely smooth. And I got a little epoxy in it already from working on it and sawdust and a few things. But you can tell here, push it with one finger. There's some simple stops on it for now. But, uh, so yeah, here's the indexing plate. It is set up for six inches apart, so to set it up for whatever bit you put on there right now, I think it's a two inch Amana bit that I'm gonna throw in with it. Um, put, I have to put some different plates on it, but you can lock it out so it slides back and forth manually. And then you can pull this pin here, and that locks it, so it locks in each motion you can turn it up lock it just a simple handle there's a few putts and putsy things to do here to kind of get it done up which I still have to do and it's all raw steel so this is half inch plate I got to get um, some actual nylock nuts on there but I got to pull it all apart clean it up and I was just gonna Odie's oil the all the raw steel here. Uh, the indexing plate on the top is kind of the same deal. It's got this, so you can lock it out, lock it in. Spin it down. That locks into position. It's got uh, a bunch of holes on the bottom. Each hole is a 64th of an inch increment. And uh, it does have the holes in there for an actual mounting plate for a router spindle. I just kind of hacked this one on. This is my uh, quarter cable that I just put on for now to test it out. It works damn good. Um, I will sell it with this. I'm going to just kind of do it as is. Or I can put the new mounting plate on it. Uh, let's see what else. Yeah, leveling feet, everything. Like I said, it's extremely heavy duty. I was gonna cut this, you know, extra piece of 8020 off, but I kinda like it. You can put some nuts in there and hang some tools on it. What else is kinda cool is uh, kinda the same as your Festool clamps and different things, you know, so you can, you know, do all sorts of, deals on here to make it convenient. You can mount some little holders on there for your carbides and your cutters and uh, different things. But then it's got two different uh, bolt patterns set up. So right now there's about seven inches of travel down to the spoil board. Um, or you can drop it down to the lower one, which just makes it a little more rigid if you're only doing three inch slabs. So there's a lot of adjustability to it. Uh, this one here 
literally cost me about 7,500 bucks to build and I'm gonna ask 8,200 for it, kind of as is. And if you want, I can throw a brand new uh, router and the spindle holder on there for 500 bucks extra. And I'll take this one off or you can buy it as is uh, for 8,200. Preferably, it'd be cool if you could pick the whole thing up I and mean, I didn't have to really disassemble it, but I can disassemble it and which I guess I got to anyways to uh, Wax these unless you want to kind of pull it apart and wax the parts or paint them or do whatever you want to do But there's a few little things I got to get done up before it's sold a hundred percent, but um, What is also nice is these rails here you can loosen up those bolts and slide these rails as close as you want together or further apart. So if you got a bigger stump that's taller and you want to set it on the ground, you can move the rails around and kind of do whatever. So um, message me if you're interested in this thing. I pretty much got to get it gone in at least two weeks. So the money from this is going to go into buying about $6,000 worth of linear rails for this smaller frame table, which is gonna have 20 millimeter rails on it, brand new. Um, smaller gantry, this is an eight foot table with a five foot extension on it. And then here's the big one. This is a large frame table, it's three by six, conference table, not included. But this one has, it starts out with a, a 12 by six foot wide, and you can put five foot extensions on it at a later date when you need it. So this one here is 22 feet long. And if anyone has priced these out, they know how much linear rails cost an 80-20 um, extrusion. So it's pretty much six grand worth of rails for uh, about seven grand with the extension for both of these tables so i gotta get her moved and keep moving on message me if you're interested thanks everyone bye